Oh, I'm excited, a bit tired, didn't sleep great last night just because of all the adrenaline, but uh, super happy, super uh, content, and uh, now excited for the rest of the race. What was the feeling up there on that podium on top of the Puy de Dome? It was a special podium on top of a special climb. Yeah, I mean, it's the best result of my career. Um, so a lot of satisfaction, relief. I put a lot of pressure on myself. I wanted to win this. Uh, I've always said I wanted to win a stage of the Tour. It's been my big career goal, and to have achieved that, that was uh, really special, especially uh, at my age. Did you have time to reflect on top of the podium when you were standing there? Yeah, definitely. Um, one thing uh, I've learned, especially uh, just getting older, is uh, uh, to cherish those moments, uh, to not take them for granted. Um, in the past, I have, and uh, I really try and just... Uh, uh, enjoy where I'm at as much as possible and that was one of those moments where I was just content. You've talked about your age a couple of times also in the post-race interview yesterday. You're 36, about ready to go 37 at the end of the year. Were you afraid that that time might not ever come or did you always have confidence in yourself? Yeah, certainly I had that fear. Um, nothing's a given in this sport. Even if you're going great, it uh, doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win. Uh, in 2021, I was going real strong and uh, Dylan uh, Toons, my teammate, uh, seized the victory from me in, uh, in uh, the Tour. And then uh, uh, even last year, I think I was ready to win a stage, but uh, I um, just had Hugo up the road and it was awesome that he won, but uh, it was an opportunity missed for me. And so you start thinking, oh, maybe uh, I'm running out of days, running out of time, but uh, yeah, it uh, just makes it that much more special that I got it. In 2022, you were there with Hugo before he went on to win. Yesterday, it was uh, Bovan there with you, which added to kind of the special day. Uh, how did you manage it? Mateo's up the road. He goes 50K to go. We don't ever really see you do anything until you're free and you're, you're hunting down Mateo. Yeah, it was really special having uh, G in the break. Um, kind of like he's a, he's a brother from another mother you know he's a, just a great guy and uh, we train together quite regularly in Andorra we've been teammates teammates since 2013 actually uh, on uh, on uh, Optum and uh, it was just so special to have have him in the break with me especially as a Canadian too and uh, uh, yeah when the race went up the road uh, I was a bit worried um, but uh, I had Steve Bauer and the radio same with uh, Rick Verbruggen and they're just trying to keep me calm and I just tried to stay as relaxed as possible because uh, I knew that uh, the final 4K were quite challenging. And um, uh, I was just hoping Jorgensen would uh, uh, fatigue. He's such a strong rider, and uh, I, was, I was lucky to have good legs and him to have uh, been a bit more uh, tired. What did you think when you passed him? That's when I knew I had it. Yeah. Uh, but We saw the thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. But even with 800 meters to go, I could kind of sense he was fading quite hard. Uh, but until then, I, I wasn't confident the, the, the victory was sealed at all. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was a nice moment when I, when I got him. You still have some, I don't know how many days are left, two weeks left in the Tour de France. you got to buckle down and finish this tour. I mean, what's next? Yeah, I think that's the best part about winning relatively early, is especially with uh, some big stages on top. So the pressure's off now. If I don't win another stage here, it's still been a big success this tour. But uh, because of that, I think it's going to give me more opportunities because I'm just not going to be uh, uh, gripping the stick too tight, as they say in hockey. And uh, uh, yeah, hopefully I can get another one. Just finally, what does this mean for the wife, the kids, the parents, everybody who's been supporting you to this point? Uh, I think they, this win is as much as theirs as it is mine. Um, they play such a big role in my life, and uh, I wouldn't be here without them. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, they're, they're, they're excited. It was nice talking to them this morning, and just everyone was smiling and happy. Enjoy. Thanks, man.